Hi, this is Handy TF. In this video, we are going to replace the vanity on the left with the floating vanity on the right. The materials for this project are, the vanity top, 1x10 trim board, 2x4 lumber, and 1x4 PVC trim board. This old vanity, leaves gap on both sides that are hard to clean. Let's get rid of it. We will be using the same plumbing, so this is an easy job. I don't like the way the P-trap is fixed to the pipe, so you have to cut it every time you want to replace it. Always uses the primer first, it can even remove paint on the pipe. When you glue a white PVC pipe to a black ABS pipe, you need to use the green transition cement. With this new adapter, I can simply unscrew the nut to remove the P-trap, it is so much easier. Cutting all pieces to size, and assemble the frame, I used some leftover lumber from my other projects, that is why they are different size, you can just use the 2x4. If you cannot find a right size vanity top, you can get one slightly larger, and trim it yourself. The vanity will sit on the frame, and 1x10 trim as facial board. Hi, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons below, this will encourage me to make more free videos to help more people. Find the studs and screw the frame to the studs. One good thing with this homemade floating vanity is that, you can put it any height you want that is comfortable to you, because you are not restricted by the standard vanity height. Apply silicon and place the vanity top. I am using the 1x4 PVC trim as the backsplash, it is quick and easy. You can go fancy, like, tiling the wall. Apply the silicon along the joint and then set the backsplash to ensure completely watertight. Some like to put plumber putty along the top rim, but I wouldn't do it, I will show you why at the end of this video after I hook up the water. This sink drain has hole below for the overflow, so there is no point in making it watertight at the top with the plumber putty. The rubber gasket on the bottom is all you need to stop the water leak. Hooking up the P-trap, you can see that it will be very easy to replace it without any more cutting. I am attaching 1x10 as facial board. It can be wheelchair accessible if you use a smaller piece or nothing. Finally finish with corking. Back to the previous question, the water drains completely here. If I had used the plumber putty, there will always be some water left along the rim. This new floating vanity makes full use of the corner, and has bigger counter space. It looks much better to me. Please like and subscribe, thank you for your time, Handy TF.